you know, it was a prettiest game. Those games will happen sometimes in the game seven. The teams know each other so well that, uh, you know, they're almost running their offense for them. But uh, you know, we got it accomplished today. Phil, was it strange that this series was sort of determined by each and every first quarter? It was. That is. But it's, you know, it, it's a relatively appropriate stat. And, you know, for this team, the Houston team, it really makes a difference. What do you feel right now? In relief? Resolve? Uh, a little hot, a little sweaty, <laughs> but, uh, you know, tight. already looking forward, you know, starting to plan. You know, you just get in that plan stage immediately when you're in the playoffs. It's like suspended life, you know, you have your life for seven more games or for another series, and you keep on going. So it's living every, you know, every play. Coach, in Houston, you were. Uh, mentioned regarding coming back home, you were confident that you'd get the win and you did that. Congratulations on that. Can you give your assessment of the offensive and defensive performance by your big man? Yeah, we uh, we had a lot of uh, faith in them. We told them to go right in at them, uh, you know, make sure that the the Rockets were had pressure put on the interior defense so that they would uh, collapse. We'd get other things off them by shots. We knew that, you know, thought that they would have to double team to give some help and uh, you know because they were shorthanded that it would be a, a foul situation probably and you know Powell and Drew both played well um, in uh, segments of the game offensively but they did a really good job defensively. Well Phil you called it you said when they came back to Staples Center they would play better that's the pattern but like the ancient ones say it only takes a moment to be enlightened was there a moment when the squad became enlightened to come out with such fury? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not Bushido warriors yet. Uh, they're, yeah. they're, they're working their way in that direction, even though the moment hasn't arrived. But they feel, you know, they're much more active on their home court. And I mean, this is a problem a coach always, you know, is, is chattering about with a, a team is, you know, you don't let a, a crowd or a noise dent or dent your energy. And uh, you know their energy level, obviously quite more active, much more prolific in this kind of a game than it was in the other nights or the afternoon last Sunday when we played in Houston. Um, you know the the idea of trying to corral you know Brooks is is a is a problem. It's going to be a problem for us all the way through the playoffs. It was a problem for us last year uh, against Boston. Uh, you know, we know that this is a, an area of weakness that you know we are always working on, um, and you know, for tonight, we're very happy with it.